Hey, it's Gavin here. Hope you're well. We have a 10 minute workout for you today. Abs, cardio, get that heart rate up, but work that core at the same time. We're gonna warm it up in a second, so I hope you're ready. Grab some water, grab a mat, come and join me. All right, so let's kick things off with a little bit of warmth. So we're gonna jog on the spot, loosen up, get nimble, get ready for this routine. So a very simple routine. 10 exercises in total, five core, five different exercises that might get your heart rate up. So come and join me if you haven't already. Get those knees a little bit higher now. Here we go. Come, come, come. All right, gonna give this a few more seconds. Next up, kicking those heels back, okay? Front back, try and squeeze the hammies as you do. Keep your head up. I say we're just trying to get those joints ready for action. Bring the heart rate up before we get into the fun stuff. All right, gonna go 10 more seconds here. And breathe. Five, four, three, two, one. And next up, we're gonna go into a squat. So try and keep your heels pushed back as you sit into the squat. So you should be able to wiggle the toes at the front. You're gonna come up, you're gonna bring your knee up into a sort of a knee drive. Keep with me. Nice and steady. Deep squat, try and keep your head up. So we're not going into that hunchback position in the top of the back. And give me five more. This is one, two, three, four, and five. Back on that jug. A little bit quicker now. There we go. We're having fun. We're ready for this one. I'm just on my toes here. If you have tight calves though, you might want to drop the heel down. So it's a bit more of a march. So you can do the old march. So it's up to you. All right, we're gonna spin it around, or at least I am anyway. Heel kicks, getting those hammies working. Kick them back. You can put your hands behind you and try and kick your hands. And once again, if that's a little bit too dynamic for you, then you can just in this position, okay? Same effect, but depends on your level of fitness. All right, turn it back around. My squat, oh, knee drive. All right, we're gonna throw in a couple of stretches in a second and then get to it. We're gonna three more. One, two, and three. Good stuff. All right, we're gonna stretch out a little bit. So, feet wide, push your heels down into the mat or the floor and lift your butt up at the same time. So we're here, pushing my heels down but trying to raise my butt up the sky at the same time. Feel that stretch that little bit more on the back of the legs, in those hamstrings. Keep pushing those heels down, lift up high. Step. I'm gonna lean out to the side, stretch out the inner thigh. I'm just gonna lean across like so. Feel this all up the inside of the leg. If you can go lower, great. just told you a second ago about pushing your heels you can push foot away from you and lean across blow down to the ground so it's kind of anchoring this foot away from you pushing it out whilst leaning back the other way and that's going to stretch out the same over to the other side push that heel down stretch it out lean across Good stuff. From there, we're gonna spin around, hip flexors. So, knee quite far behind the hip. If you need to, if your balance is a little bit wobbly, hold on to a chair, table. Push the hips forward, you'll feel that in the pocket. You might even feel it a little bit lower if you're tight in the thighs there. Ah, deep breaths. 
Change it around. Make sure you feel that stretch at the top, right in the pocket. Okay. All right, shake it out. A little bit on the quads. So again, if you're struggling for balance, knees together, hand on the chair, push your hips forward. Otherwise, try to focus on a single point. Right. So knees together, push your hips forward again. Just a few more seconds, and then we are ready to roll. So I hope you're ready for this. All right, our first exercise is gonna be a squat jack. So if you can do a squat jack, great. So if you're here, just bring it back up, like so. If you can't do that, then what I suggest you do is a step and squat. So you step to the side, squat, come back up, squat, come back. Okay? So there's always a way to work around these ones. So if the, if the old squat jack is a little bit too much, Right, right, let's get going. 45 seconds starts right now. Let's do this. Go up and down, like a jack in a box. Spring out of it. Ping those feet together. As soon as they touch down, roll back out. All right, so this is it now. So big effort. Let's see what we can do. Smiles all round, I can tell. All right, 15 seconds to go. And then you have a 15 second rest. And then we're into our first core exercise. So five, four, three, two, and one. Four. All right, we're going down to the ground. Now first one. I'm gonna start simple. I'm gonna go straight in with a plank, but try and go with a hard style plank. So you're pulling your elbows down towards your toes, squeezing everything like so now if you struggle with a low plank like this you can do it higher up on a chair or a table even you know the kitchen side the worktop but while we're here I want to squeeze the butt cheeks pull the belly button in and then I said hard style so what that means is pulling your elbows down towards your feet and keeping those glutes squeezed contracted you're gonna find that's much more effective Okay, squeezing, squeezing, 15 seconds to go. We're into our next exercise. All right, keep with me. Three, two, one, up. All right, next up, we're gonna go with vertical mountain climbers. So these mountain climbers make more sense than the ones on the floor. You may have done those ones before, but we're gonna pull. So if we're pulling a rope or climbing a mountain, so it looks like this. So opposites, so we pull. Like so. So it's kind of like high knees, but you're getting your arms involved as well. So make sure you're leaning forward. You're pulling down with your hands. Okay, here we go. Pull, pull, pull. Keeping those knees high. And again, if you're struggling at all, then pull. <laughs> Try and get my here we go, that's the one. Try and keep it going. <laughs> Instead of my dancing skills would be great, but you get the idea there, but that's what we're looking to do. For me, this is way more simple than the march and pull. So I'm trying to get the pace back up. I'm gonna give me a few extra ones there. And down. All right, next up. On your back. And we're gonna pedal, pedal the old bicycle. So we're here, we move, we rotate. Shoulders are just off the ground slightly. If you struggle with this one, head can go down. But we're just trying to keep the feet off the ground by several inches. Leg out straight as if you're riding the bike, not a little tricycle. A lot of people do this. Just wanna get those legs out, extend all the way or pushing the lower back down towards the ground. At any point you're struggling that, take a breather, get back, 
So you want to make sure that lower back is always pushed down towards the ground while doing this one. A few more seconds. Two, one, boom. Good work there. Back up on our feet. The next one. All right, this one. We're going to go punch jacks or fire jacks. Starting four, three, two. Looks like this. Okay, got a little twist on the body. If you've got this one, keep going with it. Otherwise, you can do the step like so. But I'm looking to get some good pace. If you want to throw in a little bit of style and get more of a twist, I'm going to get that core working. Come on, keep up the pace now. Punch it out. Quick feet. Nice. Looking strong. Come on. Woo! That was so quick. So quick. All right, next up, we're back down to the floor. All right, we're almost halfway through. This, and then we're halfway. All right, we're gonna go low plank or high plank. I'm gonna show you a high plank first. And you're gonna bring your knee up towards the elbow. Okay, so low plank's gonna be a bit more difficult, which I'm gonna drop to now. And you're just leaning the shoulders forward. Just a touch. Okay, 20 seconds to go. There might be a few Grin and Barrett moments coming up. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good work. So up we come. Get ready. Next one, jumping lunges or static. I want to mean my static is these ones. It's gonna bounce. Really try and burn it up. Probably about 10 one side, 10 the other. Otherwise, if you can do jumpers, this is what we're looking for. Hands on hips or right in front. Head up, back straight. Try and drop into that lunge at the back there. Get that back knee down. A common mistake with these is people do a jumping stride. Just good at all, so get that knee down. Come on. Here we go. Burn it up. Four, three, two, and one. Good job, good job. All right, moving back down to the mat. And we're gonna try and do some flutter kicks. So the flutter kicks, hands out in front, like that. However, for a lot of people who are straining their neck, you can put your, your head down and do this version instead. But the key is to try and keep so the hips push down, your lower back push down. And you see, I'm creating a shelf here with my hands. Abs fall down. It's a very small movement. Again, if you feel your lower back lifting up too much, then aim a little bit higher. That's gonna help massively. So the further you go out from the body, the harder it's going to be. Controlling the breathing. Done. Yep. Always the way. I'll let you in on this one because sometimes I don't tell people. But as I sat down there, stop the timer. So I'm going to let it run down to catch up. I'm always going to throw the timer in there so you get a little rest here. Okay. 10 seconds. Come down with me. This is the rest. <laughs> All right. We're going to hold this low squat. Push those knees out to the side. All right, so we're back on schedule. This would be the 15 minutes. 
15 seconds even of rest. We'll come back up and give you the 10 seconds rest. All right, moving into the next one. Okay, burpees. Now you can do the walkout burpees or the full burpees. So walkout burpees first will be this, hands down. Stand up. You can jump if you want to or just stand up and clap. Show you again. If you already know what you're doing with the burpees, get stuck in. And again, if you struggle with this, you can put your hands on a chair or a table, whatever it happens to be. Always make it easy for yourself if you need or if you need to. Otherwise, full burpees. Or what I would call full burpees. You have CrossFit burpees as well, where you come down and line the ground into a push-up. But seeing as uh, most of the people that follow my workouts are not CrossFit athletes or budding athletes, we'll stick with this one. Rest, we've got that 15 seconds rest. And I believe our last exercise. All right, so next up, we're gonna do rolling side planks. If you can't do the rollers, then stick with just a regular side plank. And I'll let you know when we're halfway through. So in this position, feet on the side, and roll one way, and roll the other way. Keep on it. Good. Now switch. If you've stuck with one side. Keeping those hips strong, making sure they don't sag. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Woo. All right, next up, we have full body extensions or tuck jumps. I'm gonna go with the tuck jumps. Full body extensions are this one. So this is our last, our last exercise, okay? So here is your full body extensions or tuck jumps, which is this one. Okay, so it's up to you which one you do. You know your fitness level. Well, this is our last exercise. Which is why I'm giving you a little buffer here. Are you ready? All out, everything you've got. Three, two, one, let's go. Come on. If you're getting tuck jumps with me, then no doubt at some point, you're gonna need to stop. Deep breath when you do stop. Count yourself in. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> 12 seconds left. Three, two, one, let's go. Come on. Woo. There we go. Relax. Ah, good work. The deep breaths. Stay tall. Hands on your head if you need to. Keep the airways open. A lot of people will drop down into this position, but it's closing the lungs up. So keep your chest open. Move around if you need to. Walk. Whew. So there you go. 10 minutes, plus a little bit of a warm up, but we're hitting the lungs, the core, and even those exercises that we did that not necessarily counted as core exercises, we're still getting them as well. So even things like the tuck jumps, those full body extensions, even the full body extensions, as you come up and back down, the core is working. Tuck jumps for sure, as you jump up, the core is always working. So always trying to incorporate the exercises together to get the most out of each workout. All right, so I think we should be recovered enough. So let's get into a bit of a stretch. So legs wide again, same thing that we did at the start, pushing those heels down to the ground. Lift your butt up high. Should feel a little bit more bendy now after that little routine. 
And as I say, make sure you lift your butt up to the sky. Woo. Over to one side. Good, and push that foot out. Push it, push it, push it away from you. Over way. Again, push that foot away from you. Almost done here. That our love was in decline. I would have begged you not to go. So I'm recording this in France and it's early, which meant I couldn't do this routine at my place. It would have been too early and woken everybody up. So I'd come out and this is a, a local basketball court, but there's a road not far behind. And so you may have heard a little bit of traffic, hopefully not too much. But better that than feel the wrath of my in-laws. <laughs> Don't want to wake them up at uh, half six in the morning. All right, shake it out a little bit. Kick it up, hands on chair or table. And you can lie down if you want to with this one. But make sure you get your knees together and really push those hips forward. Good stuff, and the other way around. Yeah, big circles. We, my friends, are done. So any questions, any comments, just let me know below the video. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. All right, take care for now. Bye-bye.